Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm the Novel Crown because I love bags, purses, and all things novelty. Now it is a little bit chilly here. It's actually sunny, but we do have a storm rolling in, so we're watching out for that. But hopefully wherever you are, you're doing well. Okay, so March is my birth month, and I wanna show you guys one of the bags that I got for my birthday and I am in love. Those of you who have watched my channel before know that I've talked about um, the Kate Spade dumpling bag a couple of times. I have a couple of these colors, but I've been waiting for the pink one for so long. And just about a week and a half ago, the pink one came online on the, um, I think it's the Kate Spade Surprise um, website. And I finally saw the pink dumpling, had to get it. So I'm super excited. Love this bag. I love this style. And let me show you guys about this bag. Now the color, what they're calling this is Bright Carnation. And it is a really pretty pink. It's not, you know how Kate Spade sometimes has the really bubblegum pink? It's not the bubblegum pink. It's a really pretty, it almost seems like it has just a very, very kiss of I want to say lilac just just a kiss um, on camera um, in person it looks a little bit more pink that, than it does on camera but it's not so bright and bold um, as the bubblegum pink so this is a perfect pink for me I want to show you guys why I love this bag and some of the goodies that I put in here okay but before I talk about this bag so hold on if you are here for just the bag then go ahead and fast forward just a couple minutes because I have to share something with some of the people that may be in the room right now and may be listening so a lot of you know that I am a breast cancer survivor and for the past several months I've been going through something that my doctors just could not figure out and it's some fignal issues. And so I wanted to share with you guys um, a place that I went and I'm sharing this because just in case there's someone out there who may have female issues, if you have a vagina, whether you're a female or however you, um, you know, describe yourself, if you have um, issues that your doctors can't figure out and you've went to doctor after doctor and no one, is helping you, no one is giving you any answers. I wanna share with you a place really quick that I went to and it is absolutely amazing. And I'm sharing it because I really wish that there was someone that could have shared it with me. I actually found it on my own. And for me, I was having issues, my doctors couldn't figure out and it ended up being hormonal. Like they're throwing everything at it, can't figure out what's going on. It ended up this whole entire time it was hormonal. And my, my doctors here were in the state that I live in, couldn't figure it out, but I went to this place called the Haven Center. It is called the Haven Center. Um, it, it's women's health and it's for ho uh, hormones and sexual health. I'll put that right there. And I really wanna share with you guys, uh, this place is amazing. The doctor there is Dr. Babb and he immediately figured out what was wrong with me. I have hormonal problems that stem from when I had breast cancer and some other things that are going on. But the reason why it's so important to share that with you guys is I'm trying to reach that one woman or person who has female parts and maybe has some things going on and could really use some help and can't figure it out and are just at their wits in and would like kind of another take on what could be going on. And maybe you've been to doctor after doctor, or maybe you've taken medications or whatever, and you, you know, it's just not working, just not helping you. Um, one of the things that I did first is I got a virtual appointment with Dr. Bab, and it was amazing. Within the first couple of minutes, I knew that this was the person that was going to be helping me. And here's the other thing, when I finally did make an appointment and which was a few weeks after my virtual, I made an appointment. I, um, you know, went in, I tra actually had to travel there, but it was so worth it. I went in, I didn't know that I was going to be the only patient there. He only sees just a few patients a day. You get all the attention, the place is beautiful. Now, what I wanna do is in an upcoming video, if anyone is really interested in my experience there and what I packed in my, my suitcase, what I packed in my backpack, I have some really fun goodies that I love to share. If you're interested in me doing in a, a video and showing you some of the footage that I have from the actual center, I would love to share that with you and kind of share my experience. If that's something that you're interested in, um, put that in the comments so I'll know if there's enough people who are interested, then I'll go ahead and kind of talk about my experience, how I was able to get help, 
and just the center there and the doctors and nurses that are just amazing and so yeah i just i just want to reach whoever needs to hear this information because i know i would have loved to have had someone to um share this with me or you know on one of their videos so that i could get there and maybe not wait you know the time that i had to in order to get the help that i needed Okay, enough about that. So I'm back. Those of you who fast forwarded, that is fine. Um, I want to share this bag with you. So like I said, this is the Kate Spade Dumpling. It is my birth month. So I, I um, packed it just a little bit of fun things for me, some birthday things for me that just makes me smile when I carry this bag. And like I said, this, the name of it is Bright Carnation. Um, very pretty. And it is leather, as you can see, here's the front, and it says Kate Spade, and that is like, you know, the metal raised letters that they have. On the bottom, there are feet, four feet, and here's the back, and here's the size. They do have, what is that called, like cinching or ruching, however you call it, and they have these, um, like little strings right here, these leather strings. Now they don't really do anything to help cinch in the bag very much, but they are cute when you carry them around. So I like them there. And that's what that looks like. Okay, so on the front of the bag, I have my two little keychains. This one is from Victoria's Secrets. Now actually this is substantial. It is really heavy. I've had this for a few years. I don't carry it very often because like I said, it's really heavy. Not many bags can handle carrying, you know, a really substantial um, keychain like this, but this one does really well. And I have a Bath and Body Works. This is a birthday hat. It's all pink and swirls. And on the inside, I have my, it is the, what is that? Don't quit your daydream. I thought that that was fun and cute to carry with this bag today. And on the inside, one of the things that I know you guys have seen in my other videos that I love is my JBL um, earbuds. Now, this is one of the ones where it has a little screen on front and you can do different things from the screen. And there's what the earbuds look like. Now, I found on AliExpress, they have cases. And you wanna know what else? They actually have a knockoff version of the JBLs. Now, this knockoff version, it is really actually interesting because the case is a little bit different now one of the things with the JBL case is it does have screen savers let me kind of show you on here just to give you an example where are the screen savers well they're on here somewhere okay here's the screen savers like the wallpaper now these wallpapers they don't move or anything but on the knockoff version I'm, I'm gonna try to get you see that and that kind of fun they have um, different screensavers that move around and that's pretty fun but the earbuds themselves they're they're okay they're kind of mediocre i mean it's they're still fun they're usable um i've listened to them at the gym a couple of times and i've taken them when i didn't want to take my jbls and they were fine i don't really necessarily like to talk on these i love talking on my jbls and these have a noise cancellation that is so good i love the noise cancellation on this now these do have a good noise cancellation um i'd say listening to them is okay um there i'll scroll through and kind of let you see here's brightness there is for your screen to turn off um you can balance and noise cancellation or yeah noise reduction and all of that they do help all of that but you know i mean they're the knockoff version but hey um, sometimes I have carried these when I didn't want to carry my JBLs and they worked, you know, they worked just fine. I just, obviously I just like these. And also I have my tile on here. Cause like I always tell you guys, um, I've been asked like questions before. Why do I use a tile if I can like ping my earbuds from my phone? And that's because this is probably going to run out of battery. I'm not good at charging stuff, but the tile always has its battery. And I think the tile lasts for what, like a year or so or a couple of years. So that's why I always have a tile. Okay, so the next thing I have in here is my glasses. And as I've told you guys many times before, if I don't have my glasses or my contacts, we're not going anywhere because I'm not gonna be able to see at all. And in here, I'm gonna show you guys this. So this is one of the um, pencil or pen pouches that I got made from Etsy. But look in here, this is a pen that I found. I don't know if you can get these in different places, probably, I haven't seen them, but I found this on on Amazon 
And so what it is, it's like an aromatherapy pen. Have you guys seen these aromatherapy pens? They smell really good. Here, I'll show you. I've got a whole box of them. This is what the box comes in. It's Lifelines. Now, I have seen this brand at Target, and I've seen it at, I want to say TJ Maxx or Marshalls, but I just haven't seen the pens. Maybe you guys have. I just haven't ran on them yet. But on Amazon, they have these sets that you can get. Now, you don't have to get all four. You can get one at a time. And this is a case, like a protective case for your pen, just in case so there's oil in here. And just in case the oil spills, it'll just go in the case and not ruin like your bag or whatever you have, your planner. And what you do is as you're writing, so you pull this down. And you see that in there? I don't know if you could see that well. But you can like smell the fragrance from like that little door um that's right there it's like a little i don't know what you call it a little well you can smell it and as you're writing you can like smell and write and it's just a little fun pin i actually really like it. i like this scent and the different scents are let's see what are they they're in bloom which is the one that i have now crisp mountain air citrus grove and walk in the woods and they're all really cute i'll show you here's the other pins that's what they look like. And they all have their own container that they're in. But yeah, this is really fun. And I'll put a link of these pens just in case anyone is interested if you're looking for something like this. Oh, and you want to know something? I'm also going to put a link to the Haven Center for those of you who are really interested. And like I said, if you're interested in me um, kind of sharing and showing some video of the center when I went, I will um, put that in there too. Just let me know in the comments that you would like to see more of the Haven Center and I'll make sure I include it. Now, I don't have a whole lot in here, but one of the things I do have is this is my Victoria's Secrets. It's a wristlet. It's like a foam wristlet. However, I don't usually carry wristlets, but this is one of the ones that I actually like. So on the front or the inside of it, I can keep my cards here. Now, these are cards that, I, you know, that are just my quick cards that I just want to run in and out. I'm not keeping like my whole entire wallet, but I have my, um, my gift card and some other cards that I can quickly use. And my phone actually fits in there. Now, here is the front. I just have a little bit of cash and some change. But this is actually substantial enough. I have one of these bigger cases. So here's my phone case. I'm using my phone right now to film. But here's my phone case. It has the... So I can slide this back. And on the inside are just some gift cards and some different cards that I want to use really quick when I'm running into a store or when I'm running you know, just a Starbucks card and things like that in here. I love carrying my cards like that because, you know, I can either put it in my pocket and, you know, lose it. But when I put it in here at the end of the night, I can just take them out and switch out cards. So I really like that. And it fits into this wallet, which I'm really, really glad. So it fits in there just fine and it snaps. And yeah, I really like that. And like I said, this is from Victoria's Secrets. I have it. For a little while I don't remember when I got it but I started using it okay so the next thing I have is my notebook and this is kind of festive like birthday festive so I thought that that would be fun and also I needed something to be able to write with my aromatherapy pen so I grabbed that I have my phone charger so on this is another Victoria's Secrets case this is one of those cases that you're supposed to put in the spray hand sanitizer however inside I have my charger and this is one of those tilt chargers that um, I think I got it at AT&T at one time and it fits perfectly in there so I can pull this out right here to charge it on the wall and this side I just pull out to be able to charge and carry that around and it fits down into the bag and plus it's pink so I thought that that would be fun today and the next thing so I have my zip pouch in the middle seat. If you look down on the back, I don't even think I showed you guys a bird's eye view. Let me show you guys. This is what it looks like. And on the sides, there are these pockets. You see when I open that up and they all snap together like that. And on that side, so there's lots of room and lots of pockets and you can even like, I mean, they're pretty deep and substantial. So you can like really get stuff down in there. But on the middle part right here, I have my birthday cake, Jelly Belly, because like I said, March is my birthday month. So I got to have something tasty. And I have, have you guys tried these strawberries and cream Tic Tacs? I love these. Okay, so the strawberry is a little strawberry. It's a little... 
you know, the artificial strawberry, but the cream one, they did a really good job with the cream one. And so I like, uh, I've been like snacking on these one at a time. I know it's only what, like just how much is a Tic Tac? It's like one calorie. Oh, it's zero calories. Oh, I'm good. So I can like eat the whole thing, right? <laughs> but I really like these. I really like the strawberries and cream one. You know, I had just seen them. I was looking for some other ones, but yeah, I really like these. They do a good job with the cream. Okay, what else do I have in here? Oh, so I have this Quip. Have you guys seen these Quip? They're dispensers. It's like a candy dispenser. So let's see, what do I have in here? I think this is my mint one. So I'm only going to pull it up just a little bit because these things like shoot out and it'll go flying across the room. So I'm going to show you. You see in there? It is a mint. Now I call this my adult um, what is it? Pez? My adult Pez. And so it's actually really fun. And what you do is you, you get, so you have to go to quip.com. That's the only thing that I, only place that I've seen them. And I can put the link for you guys who are looking for something like this. So it, you get the quip dispenser and then you get the refills. Now this one right here is mint. And I actually, I actually have another one. Um, here's my gum one. And you get the refills that are gum. Now you want to know something weird. So the gum one, when you bite into it, it's almost like a candy coating. So for a split second, you think you're chewing on candy, but it's, but then it turns into gum. It's kind of weird, but I don't know. It's novel. You know how I love novel things. And, um, I would like for it to, I would like for them to have different flavors. They really only have like the one flavor, but it's cute. It's novel. It's really easy to carry around if I'm just wanting something in a tiny little purse and I'm wanting, or in my pocket or something, you know, and a lot of you just like me are sticklers about keeping your breath fresh. So if I want something real small, then I love carrying this, but I do wish they had different flavors. Okay, so the next thing I have in here is my tissue case. Now, this is one of the tissue cases that I've made um, some time ago. And on the front, it's just tissues. And on the inside, I can put things in there. You know, usually I carry like cough drops or things, but I don't need them right now. So I'm just carrying the tissues. And that's always fun because it's pink and I'm loving pink right now. Okay, so the next thing I have, this is my makeup pouch that I'm carrying right now. Let me show you guys what's in this makeup pouch. So first thing I have is my happy birthday lip gloss. Like I said, it's my birthday month. Loving that. I have my, this is the vanilla buttercream. It's like, I don't know, I'm calling it my happy birthday um, lotion. But I learned that Welly, I know you guys have seen this company, Welly has the birthday um, case. This is just band-aids in here. I'll show you what it looks like. So it's just, it's just band-aids. So I'm not carrying this. I guess I could take out the band-aids and make like a different first aid kit with some other things. But I thought that it was fun because it matched the Bath and Body Works lotion. Look at that. Isn't that kind of cute? So I thought that that was kind of cute. Um, Like I said, it's a little big, so I'm not carrying it in this purse, but I might carry it in a future purse. And with the lotion, and also I have some Vaseline in here. My hair is in braids, and I like to carry Vaseline just in case my hair gets dry, you know, I have a little dry spot, or if I want to kind of moisturize my scalp a little bit. I have a mirror, and inside of here is just a mirror and a comb. I have, so on the inside of here, I have these cases, but these are Q-tips with alcohol in here. So if I ever need some alcohol, if I need to clean around my earrings or whatever I need to do, or I don't have to pop it, see, you see that little line right there? So you pop it and the alcohol comes in, but if I don't need it, I can still use it as a regular Q-tip. I have my tooth placards, tooth flossers, and this came from, I want to say it came from Timu, and it's pink, so I thought that that would be fun with the bag. And I have Brightest Bloom from Bath & Body Works. Now, this is a floral scent, okay? I'm not a floral scent girl. I usually don't like floral scents, but this is one of the first and maybe the only floral scent that I actually like. It smells so good and the dry down is very pretty. It's floral, but it's not floral. It's not like roses in my nose or anything like that. It's just a really pretty soft scent. Anyone else who likes this, let me know. It's called Brightest Bloom and I, don't, I just, I love it. Like I'm smiling right now because I love this scent. I've got 
let's see i got the actual the body spray in it let me see if i see it around here i got the body spray as well I got this little travel one as well because I like it. Now, I'm not one of those ones that if I like a scent, I like everything in the scent. I like the perfume and I like the cream. You know the little jar with the cream in it? I like that. I don't necessarily like the lotion in it, but this smells so good on me, especially after it dries for a while. I'm loving it, loving that scent. And I have my nail clipper and it's like, you know, the slanted nail clipper. I got this off of Timu. And it's just a really cute little case that can carry the nail clipper and everything. What else? And actually, here is another one. You want to know something? I actually had this on my key ring. And I ended up taking it off because I was using it. But you know what it is? It's actually a nail clipper as well. See? And I got this off of Timu. And it has like a tiny little emery board right here on both sides. That's just really fun and I keep it on my keychain. And the next thing I have here is a glass emery board and I have a spray perfume. And I think in here I have the Victoria's Secrets um, strawberries and cream, because that smells really good. Okay, the next thing that I have is my Protect Your Bottom. This is for when you go to the bathroom and there's no toilet paper and the seat is a little bit iffy. <laughs> so it comes with a, a toilet seat cover a some toilet paper and a wipe you know just in case you never know so I, I sometimes keep this in my purse my little restroom kit so that i can be able to have something if i'm out and i need to go and the next thing is my actual first aid kit this is my welly kit like i was showing you with the big one but this one has band-aids and it has the ointments and it has the um, pain relievers and things in here what something that I wish this had and I wish it was like smaller like this pattern was smaller so it could fit like that but I didn't see any I only saw it in the big one but yeah this is my first aid kit that I'm carrying and the next thing I have is my Victoria's Secrets this is my tech case so in here is this is to clean my earbuds it's the earbud cleaning kit I think I got this so I don't I don't know five below or maybe tj maxx i can't remember but on the inside it has all these little tools that i can use to clean my earbuds and i use my earbuds all the time every day so i always like to keep those clean whenever i need to and the next thing is so this is my watch charger so what you do you open it up lay your watch inside and close it and it charges your watch you see a little light right there so it charges your watch. You could sit it down and or put it in your purse until your watch charges. And if you're anything like me, I am so not good with charging anything at all. All of my stuff is usually on zero. <laughs> so I like carrying chargers and things that I can use when I'm out and about. But yeah, that is what I think that's all that I have in my purse right now. But look at this. I love this. So those of you who are looking for this type of style, it is a really fun carry it carries a lot it's not that heavy and it's i just think that the dumpling is just a fun bag so thank you guys for watching my video and like i said it, anyone who is interested in the haven center i'm not paid for any of this i just want to share my experience for someone who might be out there struggling or might be out there who is looking for some answers i would love to share that with you because it was an amazing experience for me and so like always thank you guys for watching my video and coming along with me and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye.